So what we'll do is we'll we'll remove one domain, we'll we'll add the other domain, and there's some steps that we need to do through GoDaddy as well. So let's open up GoDaddy in another tab because we're going to need to add something there um, as well. this one yeah you click on click on dns dns is fine okay cool so now we come into the dns settings and, and we'll leave this we'll actually yeah we'll leave it here perfect so here are all the records so now let's just go back to kartra and let's remove that other domain so just click on your profile picture in the top right and then go down to custom domains and then we'll just remove um, this one so if you hover over it you can remove domain and then all we're going to do is simply add, we'll click the green little plus sign there, and then we'll add the new one. And then there's a few steps that we'll need to take. So we'll click on, um, we'll click on domain, the, the green square. Okay, and then only the main domain. And then we'll type in that new domain there. Okay, perfect. And then next, and then over here, we're gonna have a, a we're gonna follow um, step number two. So we're gonna copy best wa properties .com. Yeah, copy that. Everything except for the dot. Okay, perfect. So copy that. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and create a C name record. So this C name record here. And in fact, what we can do is we can just um, actually, yeah, this is a whole new domain. Never mind. This the second one down. Edit that one. So the C name. Yeah, edit that one, click on that, perfect. And then the, the host um, is www, and then the at, the points to the at sign, paste in the new link, and then save. Actually, with, without the at sign. So no at sign, take away that part, and then save it. Okay, cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down, and we're going to change out. We're, once we get everything set up, we're going to change out the forwarding down here. So if you go down a little farther, further, so right here, the domain forwarding. So leave this, leave this here. Let's go back to, um, to Kartra. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to just click on yes. And then we're going to um, hit next. Okay, cool. So this right here, we should have set up a page first. Um, but just go ahead and link it to, to link it to anything for now. So just the ex external URL. We can always change this, but you external URL, hit that drop down, external URL to the left, and go to Kartra pages. And the index page and the 404 page is going to be the same. So what we do here, we'll just do the same thing for the bottom one, 404. So select a page, site, yeah, go no site in particular. So go no site and then select a page. And then we'll just do, we'll just do any page for now, just to, just to, get it active but then we can we'll we'll come back in here and change this page so just do do any page for for now um yeah that's fine do seller guide thank you that's fine so seller guide thank you and then we'll hit next and then and then that's it so we'll hit close and so what we want to do real quick is let's go to let's go to my pages let's go to my pages and let's just set up just for the time being um a new page so this new funnel that you're thinking of, we got landing page and thank you page. Those are the two basic pages that we need. So let's just set one up real quick. So hit hit the green one page and we'll go to, um, and, and it's just setting it up real quick just to just, just yeah, just to get, get something up. So let's click on, on squeeze pages. We're gonna do a squeeze page and we're gonna do a thank you page. So look at any of these templates and um, just, yeah, just pick pick any of them. Um, okay, this will now, be good because I want it to be this forty percent off, so it'll have the offer expires thing. Uh, perfect, perfect. So scroll up. Let's use this one, and we'll go next. Our launch builder, launch builder. So now, as we come in here, um, page name. Go ahead and give it a give it a name, um, and then let's start putting everything in categories as well. So perfect. Your discount, and then um. Your discount code and then put put um either landing page or put opt-in page your discount code opt-in or something like that yeah opt-in and then and then let's manage my categories and let's just create a category for it manage my categories no get out it's not that one just right below it you see manage my categories yeah and then we'll create a new one and then just put this in 
discount funnel or, or your discount code funnels or whatever. Yeah, discount code funnels and then click on add. And then now we're gonna click on done. So we just added it, click on done, and then now hit the drop down and put it in that category. And then the site, you can go no site. So hit the drop down, no site in particular, and then create. Okay, cool. So now as we come into a new page, this could be the page that we link as the new index page and even the 404 page. So we'll go back in and we'll remove that seller guide thank you page, which is currently set up there. And we'll just, we'll, we'll put this one. So when I come into a new page, the very, very, very first thing I, I do is I click on settings to the left and I at least get a new page title. So the settings, and then let's go to um, SEO parameters. And then let's change out the page title because I don't want the public to see that in the page title, in the tab, I should say, in the tab. I don't want them to see that, but they, they can maybe see your discount code or, or something catchy there, some type of call to action. That's what they see in the tab. So you have all these tabs open on, on your screen. I want them to see something catchy. Click to save. Yeah, something catchy is always good. Short and catchy. Click to save now or click to save 40%. Perfect. Yeah, click to save 40% or your 40% discount code or something like that. You won't let me do percent. So maybe spell it out. Yeah, your 40% discount code. And that's a little long, but it's all good. It'll still show, it'll still show at the top. Um, and then what you'll want to do also, since this is a landing page, what I always do for landing pages, because landing pages are what we'll typically share on social media. So what I always want to do is put an image. So I'll go down to the very bottom, image selected, and I'll put like a cool image um, that reflects that because when, when you share a link on social media, there's always a description and an image that shows. Mm -hmm. So this would be the image that would show when you share the link on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. I wonder if my photography girl could edit these so that they actually say 40% mm -hmm. off. Yeah, you know for sure. For sure. Put, put that one for now. But, but yeah, you could for sure do that and then, and, then, and then add that one. So hit confirm. And so that's what I normally change right away. Click apply. I'll normally add a description also at the top, put some keywords. You can do that part later, but it's the settings and it's the SEO parameters that I'll update right away on a, on a brand new page. So now what I'll do is I'll click on the actions to the top right. Let's save progress. We'll come back in and edit it later, but save progress. And then we'll publish live. And this is what you actually want to do before you add the domain. Just so when we add the domain and then we get to the 404 page and the index page, we now have this new page to put there. Mm -hmm. We didn't have this a few minutes ago. That's why we had to go with the seller guide. Thank you one. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so get the page link. Let's just see if it's there. Hit the, hit the pencil to the right, hit the drop down to the left and see if it's, if it's there yet. Yeah, it's not there yet. It'll be there in a couple minutes. So for now, that could be the link. We're going to change all that FW0659. We're going to change all that. So don't even worry about that now, but just hit the check mark to the right. And then there goes the new page. So we, we, we save progress. We publish live. So close this out. We save progress. We publish live and then we return a dashboard. Okay. So let's hit the actions, return to dashboard. So save progress, publish live, return to dashboard. Okay, cool. So that's, that's the, the basic template of, of an opt-in page. Now let's do the same thing. Let's hit the, the green one. Let's create a, a quick thank you page. And as I create these pages for one specific funnel, I'll always use the same title. So your discount code. So we'll go thank you pages. And then we'll just grab a thank you page. Um, you'll want to do one with, with a video slot. Well, you can, you can grab any of these pages and add a video slot. You can add anything to any page. But mm -hmm. if we're going to grab a template, we might as well you know, grab one with, with a video slot because that's what you'll want to do. As they land there, it's you on video telling them to click that button. And when they click that button, that button is linked with your affiliate link. So they click the button and that's when they go straight to Real Estate Express with your coded link. Okay, so is that the same name as we named the other one? Yeah, because it was discount code. Your discount code. I think it's your discount code, your discount code. And then yes, thank you. 
and then we'll put it in that same category. Perfect, and then no site. Perfect, and then create. Okay, cool. So, so now as we come into the thank you page, settings to the left, let's change out the title of the tab. And now in this case on with the thank you page, I wanna put something like click button below for your discount code or something like that. Something catchy that they'll see at the top in the tab. So settings to the left and then SEO parameters. And then one thing we'll do later is, is for sure add our pixel and that's under tracking code. So your discount code, um, and then yeah, let's take away that. And then and then I would say I would say something more more call to action. Click button below to activate your discount or something like that. Click button to activate discount. Yeah, perfect. And then this one doesn't need a description. You don't need an image because no one's sharing. Well, you could sh anybody could share this page, but typically they're you're not sharing this thank you page. So no image really necessary. So now, now we have this. So again, scroll down. So you got the video slot and then you got the button below. Click here to activate your 40% off. And then boom, that's where, you, in fact, let's do that right now. Hover over the button. Let's edit. Let's, um, yeah, there goes the pencil. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna link it. So we're gonna, we're gonna grab, we're gonna click on link at the top and then we're gonna link to, um, to link to another page. So click on that link to another page. And then you scroll down all the, way, all the way down and then select, yeah, hit the drop down and we're gonna go external. We're gonna link it to an external and there goes your affiliate link. So grab your, grab your affiliate link and let's just, let's just paste it in right there. Awesome, so we'll paste it there. And then what we'll do is scroll down. You'll always want to open in a new tab. Open in a new tab, yeah. And then apply. Okay, cool. So now save progress, publish live. And then, and then, and then just so we could test it, let's actions, publish live, grab the link, open it up in a new tab and test that button. Yeah, just copy the link right there, yeah. So we open up in a new tab, we click the button and we should go straight to Real Estate Express. Bam. Beautiful. Here's so, the, and, 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 because the 40% off link doesn't get applied when they just click here. So am I gonna okay. put writing then for them to put their code, the code in? Are you gonna what? Will I put in the text portion of this thank you page, like what the code is? You you can, but what I would do all you yes, you want to do that for sure. But what I also would do is I would that would be a video where I'm on screen share, literally showing them how to do it. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Here's what you're gonna do now. Let me walk you through it, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Right? All right. Yep. I'll do that. I'll shoot a zoom. Or you can also go back to the Real Estate Express tab. That is your link. So as I navigate now, I'm I'm coded to 3391417, right? So as I navigate now, why don't you go through it real quick? How, how, do, how do I do it? Go, go, go to the part where I get my discount. So what do I got to do? So now that I'm so, here, I click yep. on. You click on the down arrow for select a state. We'll just do Washington. Um, and then you'll select to get your license, find courses. Yeah, see, so this is for sure that video. You're gonna you're gonna want to explain. And then this they have part. a discount code here, not the code you want to use because you get 40% off using my code. So okay, so I always recommend this either one of these. Um, but we'll go just for sake of doing it, exam preparation plus, and then you would apply here. S21, hit apply. Perfect. Perfect. This is your thank you video. Okay. Okay. So okay. simple. So simple and, and so freaking effective. This is gonna, you're gonna crush it with this. Yeah. So um okay. go back to Karcher real quick. So let's um so we saved progress, we published live. We'll come in here and edit this later. Um okay. 
this is this is the page. So get, let's go back to cart. Yeah, go back to that one. So let's close this out. In fact, let's see if the domain is, is active. Go to actions, publish live again. Publish live. Let's see if the domain is there. So hit the pencil, click the pencil to the right, hit the drop down to the left. Bam, it's already there. Okay, cool. So you can just so go ahead and select it. Select the domain. And then and then let's name it. Um, and what I normally name the forward slash is I is nine nine out of ten times, actually damn near 10 out of 10 times. I'll always name this part what I put in the title of the tab. Mm -hmm. So what do we put there? Is that what we put in the title of the tab? No. Look at the title of the tab. I think you still have that page open. You put click. It's hover over it. It says hover. Yeah, click button to activate discount. So I would put something like that. I would I would keep everything uniformly, you know, consistent. So click button to activate discount. Perfect. So boom, there goes the new domain. There goes the new the new link. So now you what you want to do is you'll want to close this out. Let's hit actions. Return a dashboard. Let's go and so look. We, we changed out the domain by publishing live. That's one mm -hmm. way to change out the domain. The other way to go ahead and exit, the other way to change out a domain is to simply come over here to the dashboard, click on the three dots. Let's do the opt-in page. Click on the three dots of the opt-in one. And then just get coder link. Now I can change it from here. So I can change out the domain from here as well. So get the page link, hit the pencil, hit the drop down, and it'll be right there. So now let's let's name this. I, I forgot what we put in the tab, but um, is it still this one? The click button to activate discount. No, that's the thank you page. Um, oh yeah, this one's the. Um, just close it out. Just close it out real quick. You put um, you put your discount code. Your discount okay. code. I'm pretty sure. Well, you could just grab the link and and open it up in a new tab and and see. But I think I think you put your discount code. I, actually, I don't know what you did, but yeah, get the get the, get the page link, get the page link, copy the link, just copy it and just open it up in a new tab and you'll see what the title is. Your 40% discount code. Your 40% discount code. So you can hit the drop down. Okay, so now here's what's so important. The general public, yeah, when they click on licensed then what.com because that's all your branding right hit go ahead yep. and save it that's all one is branding is the actual root domain licensed mm -hmm. then what.com that's all we're going to give facebook that's all we're going to be posting that's the only link we're branding once they click on that then they come over to here your for your 40 percent discount code then they see the long ass link and that's fine no one cares no one's even paying attention right but now that's the opt-in page so what we want to do is we want to go in the index and the 404 now is that page. And then also copy that real quick while we're here, copy that. Now let's go back to copy the whole thing, know the whole thing. Now we're gonna take that also, we're gonna take that and go to GoDaddy. Let's do GoDaddy real quick. That becomes the forwarding. So add, so as people go to license then what.com, they're forwarded to this page. So let's make sure, hit the, take the cursor all the way to the left. Yeah, take it all the way to the left. Make sure we're um, take away the HTTPS semicolon forward slash forward slash. Leave the www and then just change out to the left the HTTPS to the left that drop down. Change that to mm -hmm. S. Drop it on the S. Okay, cool. And then um, forward only. That's fine. Save. Okay, save. And so now you're now you're good. So hit save. And then now let's go back to Karcher really really quick and let's hit um, let's close this out. We'll hit the profile picture in the top right. Let's go to custom domains. And then let's um, let's edit. So now it's connected. Let's edit domain, and let's just change out this index and 404. So now, now we hit the drop down for Karcher page. Let's take it out of this. No, those stay the same. It's the drop down for Karcher page, the third one. Yeah, and then let's add the new page. And this right here, do you even know what an index in 404 page is? No idea. Okay, so go ahead and find your new one. That it's it's going to be the opt in. Perfect. Yeah, opt in. Okay, so. These pages are when and if that domain ever expires. So in GoDaddy, if you don't renew it, it expires, right? You renew it annually right. or whatever. If, okay. it's, if it expires and someone goes to that link, 
Karcher will still forward them to this one. Okay. Right, so save it. Okay, so we're good. So we, we updated GoDaddy and we updated um, Kartra. So now if you open up a new tab and just go straight to licensed then what.com, you should be forwarded to the new opt-in page. There it is. Boom. Yeah, there it is there. Okay. I'll start That's how you do the damn thing. And I'll change those out to be what I want them to be looking like. And then I'll work on a recorded zoom. Yes. Yes. And then, and yeah, so that's, so that's how you add the domain. You know what? Cause I already pushed back my appointment anyway. So it's all good. We got like, we got like five, 10 minutes. Actually we got like, like 13 minutes. So let's integrate that domain real quick with Facebook, open up a new tab. Let's go to our business settings. Since we have GoDaddy up, um, let's just, oh, let's just add it. I forgot that I needed to do a run through. I have somebody that I'm doing their likes ad for, and she's in here. I already added her with all this. Okay. Stuff. Awesome. Totally forgot. I got to schedule another call with you for that. You, okay. you have, a, so you, you have a call with her right now? No, I have all her stuff ready to go. I told her I'd be going today. Um, oh, okay. For so it's ready. I'm ready to run her like out. I have the photo. I've got everything ready to just do. Okay. And that like ad changed a little bit as well. So I need to update you on that. And I'm still waiting uh -huh. on Facebook. Some, like yeah. I, some of their stuff, see, I was like, I wonder if they could have changed to like their system because even when I was trying to pull stuff from her, it was weird. Like it wasn't like how it was when you and I did it. It seemed a little not big off but a little off it's it just off what i'm referring to is, is the targeting so so targeting a certain location that's mm -hmm. what changed and i had a call with facebook yesterday and i'm waiting on on their reply because they didn't even right. know it changed the rep that i was talking to didn't even know it changed um so i'm waiting on on that don't run it just yet don't run it you could tell a client it's it, it's it's being in the process but don't don't okay. set it up just yet let me hear back from my from my facebook rep um, cause I'm just talking about the targeting, the targeting of it, of it changed. Um, okay. I'll message you on that for sure. For sure. For sure. So over here, click on date, click on brand safety. So we're in the right account, best WA properties, brand safety at the bottom, bottom left, and then go to domains. And then all we're going to do is simply add the domain. So click on the blue one and then, um, we'll click on well, Yeah. We'll go ahead and enter the domain there. Is it you, w you don't, no, just... you don't need any of that. Just the actual letters yeah license yeah perfect okay cool so we'll add this and then we're going to copy we're going to actually we're going to hit the drop down add a meta tag hit that drop down and go down to um use dns or update the dns yeah it's the dns and then number two so we're going to do number two we're going to copy that bold yeah hover over that and just click and you'll copy it you could just you could just hover over it and click don't even highlight it just click it there we go. Copies to clipboard. Perfect. So it copied. Okay, cool. So then we're going to do number three, use a DNS text um, to verify and then click verify. Okay. So now let's go into GoDaddy and we're going to just simply update it or we're going to add a text file. So scroll down right here, add up to the right, add, and we're going to hit the drop down type. We're going to go to TXT and we're going to just simply, the host is the at sign. So that's the host, and then the value is that link. So go ahead and paste in that link and then save. Okay, cool. And that's it. So now with Facebook, sometimes with Facebook, it could take a few minutes um, mm -hmm. for it to verify, but it's there. So now go back to business settings, go ahead and verify domain. This could take a few minutes. Yeah, see, so here's what you want to do. And, and then, and then um, yeah, check this in about, verify domain in about in about 30 minutes. But make sure the the um the drop down up there says update the DNS because as you verify, sometimes that that drop down changes. Go ahead and click it again. Verify domain. Oh, good, we're good. Yeah, it could take anywhere from freaking thirty seconds to thirty minutes sometimes. Yeah. So you're good, perfect. So now, um, see if you need to add any assets, which I don't remember if you need to to a domain. Um, yeah, you're you're good. Classic pages. Um, click on classic page. Yeah. Okay, cool. So go ahead and just add it to the best WA properties and then add. Okay, cool. You're good.
Yeah, that other asset, that's her page. Perfect. Okay, cool. So so that's how you integrate the domain to Facebook and then also to your Kartra pages. Okay.